Okay guys, so welcome back to the channel. So like I said on Friday, we're gonna go through some short game today. Behind me, we've got a short shot, you know, four or five yards, but it's something on the edge of the green where I see a lot of people go straight to the 58, got a little bit of rough to go over. It's a very high tariff shot, so your landing zone becomes very small. So many times I see them use a 58, either leave it short or hit it over the green again, okay? If there's a bunker involved, a lot of times you leave it in the bunker. So it's adding shots to your round that you don't need to have, okay? So we've got a different option here today. So you probably never use this around the edge of the green or very few of you do, okay? But we're gonna start looking at how we can use a hybrid around the edge of the green to guarantee us more consistent chip shots closer to the hole and again, have a tap in for par. So we've also got an eight iron, okay? So we're gonna go through three different shots here today. We're gonna to see which is the closest. And again, it's about testing yourself. So it's about giving yourself a benchmark, starting to see which one's the percentage shot. Start to learn a bit about what you could play around the edge of the green. You know, these are shots that you don't see much, so you don't use them. We go to the trusty lob wedge and start to use that. Okay, so let's have a look. Let's see which is the closest and let's see which one you can use when you get back to the golf course. Okay, so guys, so firstly, we'll have a quick look at what I mean by the shot we're going to play. So we're gonna go through that now. Okay, yeah, so this is the shot we've got. So you can see we've got to go over a little bit of rough to start with, then there's a little bit of fairway, and then there is some rough just before the green. So again, it's a shot where I see a lot of people get the 58 degree out, try and chip it over, but your landing zone is very small, given the greens aren't this small on a normal golf course, but again, you know what I mean. So it's a very small landing zone, it's a very hard shot, and it's not something I use a lot. So we're going to show you some different examples today. So we've got an eight iron there and a hybrid, something that you've, you've probably not normally used. So again, from here, we're going to show you how close we can hit each club, which is the percentage shot, and which is the one that's going to save you a lot more shots around the edge of the green. So we've seen the hole there now, guys. So you can see what kind of shot I'm meaning. You know, this could be all rough. It could be something that we've got to carry all the way over. But again, you might see that getting something running towards it is more consistent than getting something to try and fly stop onto a short pin. Okay, so first up, we're gonna be using the 58. Okay, so if you again, if you watched the video last Wednesday where we talked about setup, okay, so for every one of these shots with each three of the clubs, so the 58, the eight iron and the hybrid, we're gonna get nice and tall, round about a foot away from there. And we're just gonna focus on turning that body and holding our finish. Okay, we're not trying to get any wrists in there. My feet are nice and close together. I'm not trying to get any wrists in there. Try and scoop it up. So that's the motion that I see a lot when people start to duff it into the bunker or thin it over the back. Okay, so if you've done the drill from last Wednesday's video, then we should be able to start getting a more consistent strike and flight. So first up, 58. So I'm gonna hit three shots with each and then we're gonna count how close they are on average. So again, nice and tall, club on the toe and just work that body. Okay, so a bit fiery, landed at the hole and then ran on through. So again, on a golf course, that's running probably 10, 15 foot past. Okay, so and again. A bit better, but again, I'm relying on a bounce. It's very hard for me to rely on a bounce. Again, if you was throwing a ball, you've got to think, okay, can you judge how it's gonna bounce? If we can get that to roll, that's gonna be your percentage shot because we can see the slope we can see what's happening. Whereas if we're getting it to land, could land on a little stone, could land in a holotine, could land on anything, a beetle. And again, it sends you away from where we want to be. Okay, right, third one. Oof, so a little bit better, got a lucky bounce there, got a bounce to the left. So what we're gonna do now, guys, we're gonna come in. So if you're on the chipping green, you're gonna come in. We're gonna count how far that is, so. So that'll be 17 feet in total there, guys. So that will be giving us probably just over five feet. You know, you ask yourselves, are you confident from five feet to hole every single one of those putts? Tour averages are pretty high, but again, for the, for the average golfer, for us mere mortals, it's not gonna be through the roof, okay? So now let's go to an eight iron. So again, you know, same setup as we talked about on Wednesday, nice and tall, exactly the same, okay? So this one's not gonna fly as far. It's obviously gonna land probably halfway and then we'll see how it gets through that rough. OK, 
Okay, so pretty good, had a good chance. You see there, that's more direct. I've got a little bit more control of that. Okay, so landed a little bit long and chased through. The rough didn't take much out of it there. Okay, last one. Last one pretty good. Okay, so third one's better. So let's count those up now. So that's 12, okay. So 12, we're looking at on average four feet. So we've, we've brought it in a foot and a half, so we are closer, okay. So we have got more chance of making that putt. So you can see there again already the percentage shot for those two, if they're the only clubs we had and we didn't have a hybrid, it would be the eight iron, okay. It's the bump and run, it's the consistent one, okay. We can control that a lot better than the 58, okay. So next up is the hybrid, so probably the one that you've either never used or you've hardly used. Posture's still the same, but you're probably going to see that when we grip down, we're going to be gripping probably on the shaft, okay? Which is not a problem, your left hand's going to be on the grip, and then again we're going to be making that same motion, okay? So similar lie, nice and tall, like a putting motion. Okay, so pretty good, two feet, good one to start. So same again, put in motion. Okay, pretty good. Third and final one. Okay, good. So five feet there. Okay, so we can see we got that to five feet away. So again, just over or just under even, so again just under two feet on average, so those are more putts that we're going to back ourselves, feel confident to make, even your average amateur, okay, we're going to be more confident in making those, okay, we're saving a lot of shots there guys, so okay, if I had those 58s that ran 20 feet past, you know, that brings in a three putt, the ones with a the hybrid there, you know, worse we're making is a two putt, but we should be getting pretty much all one putts from there, okay, so it's not a club we use much. The reason why it's the most consistent, even the eight iron's good, but the eight iron still has a little bit of loft, and then we're still relying on a bounce. You can see with the hybrid, it was jumping over this rough here that we went through, okay, and then it was rolling and it was, had enough momentum to go through there, okay. So this shot will have a, you know, it will have a max. So because it's got more of a hot face, it will have a max. So it might be 30 yards, you know. You might be able to play shots that go all the way to the back of the green if the pin's at the back, okay? But you'll have a max, okay? But it's a lot more controllable. The reason why, again, the bottom of that club is all bounce, okay? So when I get that on the toe, okay, I'm using the sole of the club, even if I catch the ground two or three inches before that some do. So if we have a backing up motion, this is bounce, so you're always gonna get contact. It's not gonna dig because of the bounce on that club. So it's something that's consistent around the edge of the greens. If, for example, you was in somewhere where, like here, you was right on the edge of the rough and the semi, again, it's something that we could use, get nice and tall. It's all bounce, so there's less chance that it's going to snag, okay? So I want you to give that a go in the garden. Okay, when we get back to the course, again, hit shots, count the average, and start to see what's better, okay? You set a benchmark, and then from there you can then repeat, see if you're getting better. You might want to practice with your 58, fine, get that better, okay? You might want to practice with your A time, but you can start to repeat, set a benchmark and start to see which one's the most consistent around the green, because consistency is going to lower that handicap, lower your scores and just get you enjoying the game a little bit more. Classic James Robinson line there for you, okay? On Wednesday we'll be going through a putting trip, so it's one of the drills that Tiger's used for years. He's used it ever since he's been on the tour and he still uses it to this day. So it's something that can help you with your tempo, so keep an eye out for that. On Friday we're going to come back in, we're going to be looking how you play different shots out of the three different cuts I've got here. So what differences do we do at setup? maybe if we're off the fairway, to the semi, to the rough. Again, club selection, what things change. So thanks for watching guys, give this hybrid a go. Get yourself out there, test it in. It won't be easy to start with, it's going to feel very alien, but give it a go. You'll start to see that it's a consistent shot you can use when we get back out on that golf course. For now, I'll see you Wednesday.